Hi, I'm William. This is Austin and Mike. We're with Green Country RV Doctor. And today we're going to go through a step-by-step -step process of converting a trailer with a converter charger over to a inverter charger with uh, Xantrax new Freedom HF 1055 series inverter. All right, today we're going to take uh, most of your uh, trailers run a standard converter charger in them. That's typical in today's industry. However, a new trend is to go in and upgrade from a converter charger to an inverter charger, giving you more flexibility when dry camping in order to run outlets, microwave, TV, things of that nature. So today we're going to remove this converter charger. We're going to go ahead and install the new Xantrax Freedom H HF1055 inverter charger in its place. During this process, it's going to require this is some part of the uh, inverter panel or the breaker panel. We're going to reroute some electrical to and from this uh, inverter charger as well as hooking it up to the batteries as well. Uh, we are going to do a remote install at a different location that makes it easier to control since this, we're on a horse trailer and this is up kind of at the front of it which would make it hard to get in and out and, and manage the controls of the inverter. First step in the process is going to go ahead and we're going to remove the cover over the AC circuit breakers. After pulling off the uh, front cover, we uh, go ahead and remove the uh, circuit breaker for the circuit that we're going to be tying into. This is a four circuit panel. Uh, far left circuit is your main input, and the other four are going to be your subsidiary circuits. We're going to be placing this inverter, if you will, in between the circuit breaker in the panel and the load, which would be the appliances and receptacles. During this process, we go ahead and disconnect the AC and DC power to the existing converter and prep it for removal. Once we've got it pulled out, we go ahead and set up uh, our connections uh, and our location to uh, mount the new uh, Xantrax inverter charger. Now that we're ready to go ahead and set up our connections, uh, we have uh, already run our Romex wiring uh, in and out of the uh, AC panel over to where we're going to mount the inverter. So we're going to go ahead and prep the inverter by removing the control panel. Uh, in this situation, as I uh, explained earlier, we're going to mount the control panel remotely. Uh, we're going to run the uh, two-pair phone communication cable from the inverter, which in this situation you can actually remove the control panel from the inverter itself. Uh, this kit does come with a bezel that you will then re remount that uh, control panel somewhere else within the camper or coach, uh, connect it via the phone cable, plug it back into the uh, circuit board on the front of the inverter, reattach your blank cover and mount your inverter. Here you can see the phone cable that we are routing through part of the cabinetry uh, to locate the uh, remote control panel above, above the entertainment center. Using a Dremel tool, we cut out our opening. Go ahead and drill a hole so we can feed the phone cable into the cavity behind the cabinet. Now he is taking the bezel, prepping it uh, so we can mount the controller in it, plug the phone cord into the controller, and then mount it to the uh, cabinet face. Once the installation of the remote control panel is complete, we're ready to move into the uh, making the connections for AC and DC of the inverter, as well as mounting it in the location where the original uh, converter was at. In this step, we are com completing our AC connections. Uh, this is going to be, as we stated earlier, uh, from the circuit breaker, we're going to feed a, four, a 10 gauge Romax to the inverter. We're then going to run a 14 gauge Romax from the inverter back to feed to the circuit, which would be the appliance and the receptacles. Now that we've completed running our wiring from the breaker panel to our opening right where we're going to mount the inverter, uh, we get the uh, Romex prepared and the, the contacts cleaned out 
stripped and ready to install. All right, as you can see here on the left side, we have the orange 10 gauge Romex coming in. Uh, and then as you can see on the right hand side in the yellow Romex of the plug, we've just added a simple three prong plug to plug into the GFI outlet coming off the inverter, making the installation that much more simple. Reattaching the uh, AC-DC panel back into the wall. Uh, in this step here, we're making sure we have a good earth ground. That way the GFI on the uh, output for this inverter will operate correctly. Once we have completed all of our contacts, we are ready to go ahead and tuck our wires back in the panel to reinstall the front cover. Now that we have all the covers and panels reinstalled, you can clearly see how easy it is to upgrade to a new Xantrax inverter charger rather than replace your broken or faulty converter charger system. Okay, now that we've completed installation of the uh, new inverter, we're going to go ahead and power it up and we're going to test the AC input and charging mode. As we can see, it's now powering up. It is reading the input voltage. Within about 30 seconds, the charge mode will kick in and take over, uh, and it'll actually start charge the battery as well as supplying 12 volts for the uh, coach. We are now going into a bulk charge status. Here for long, it will go into an absorption charge and completely or fully charge the system. Okay, it is now in absorption charge. This, is, this will complete this part of the test. We're now going to head and shut off the power to the AC, which will allow the inverter to actually go into our invert mode, and we're going to test its ability to supply 110 volts to the vehicle without an AC input. It is at this time reading the battery voltage at 12.6 volts. It is continuing to supply 12 volts for the, the vehicle, as well as power the outlets or the circuit that we are supplying with this inverter. Well, we've got our uh, Freedom HF series uh, inverter installation complete. Everything's tested, it's all working good. Um, one of the things we're finding here at Green Country RV Doctor is that uh, upgrading these campers, trailers to an uh, inverter is a much better choice than just replacing a worn out or undersized converter. Uh, better reliability, better lifespan on the batteries. Uh, it's also now providing additional feature for our customers where they can actually go out, true dry camp, but still use basic 110 features such as outlets, TV, things of that nature. So as you can see from the install, it's a pretty simple process to upgrade to this inverter. And we're also adding increased versatility for the customer, making this a very nice product to work with. At Green Country RV Doctor, we've been in business long enough, we've earned a certain amount of notoriety. With that, we've gained some opportunities, and those opportunities let us do some custom conversions. Now, in our custom conversions, thanks to the partnership that we have with Xantrax Corporation, we're able to give our customers the needs for today plus their future needs for tomorrow. All RVs that we do that come in with a converter are now changed out to the new HF series inverter and that lets the customer have a lot more flexibility than they originally had with their older style coach. Any dealership operating in the same arenas that we are today definitely needs to take a serious look at the new Xandrax inverters. They offer us more flexibility than anything else on the market. We're able to have real-time communications, we're able to daisy chain, we're also able to communicate with the inverter via our cell phone, which allows our techs to be able to diagnose problems even if the customer is in the field. The biggest value that we found so far with the Xandrax line is now the availability 
to be able to use the quick connect plugs instead of having to reroute a cable we can utilize an existing cable this can cut as much as five hours off of an installation what more value can you ask for than that from my professional opinion the Xantrax inverter is definitely worth looking at if you haven't used one before definitely give it some consideration.